This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. All right, Mr. Neri. Yep. Yes, okay. Um, so you're looking for a girl named Liza? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so what happened? So I've been seeing her for a few months now, and I thought we were a thing. Yeah. Like, things were going really well, <laughs> but apparently I was wrong because she disappeared on me. Um, You've been seeing her for a couple of months, and she has disappeared on you? Yeah, completely. What you sure heck? she didn't get kidnapped? Oh, no, 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 no. No, like, she's still active on, like, Facebook and stuff. Ah. So you should know what you did to piss her off. That's, like, that's a substantial amount of time. At that point, it's not really ghosting. It's like, you messed up. You should know why you messed up, and I don't ever want to see you anymore. That's exactly, but I don't know. I truly have no idea what it could have been. The last time I saw her was at her parents' house. Mm-hmm. What'd you do? <laughs> I swear to you, I cannot think of anything. Her parents love me. Like, her grandmother even loves me. Like, she's, like, she's so cute. She's, like, the, the grandmother on uh, on Coco. We hung out. We watched the Celtics. And then I left because uh, my she was spending the night with her mom because they were doing something the next day. Yeah. Hmm. You said the gra- uh, who, who's the grandmother look like again? She was with the grandmother in Coco. She looks so sweet. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you a question anyway. Remember. Did you have sex with the grandmother from Coco oh, by any chance? Oh, my God. Come on, man. Stop. No. The woman's in her 80s. Trust me. There's a reason I asked that. It has happened. Okay, so the family loves you, and now she wants nothing to do with last time. Okay, you said that you were watching the Celtics game. Did you get, like, super excited and punch somebody in the face, or did you get mad and throw something at the TV, anything like that? No, nothing. I like, I'm on my best behavior with the family. Okay. Hmm. I mean, listen, if you're going to hang on to that bullshit, we're going to have to believe you. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay, h- hang on the phone, Neri. Hello? Hi, is this Liza? I'm, I'm sorry, who the f*** is this? Well, uh, Li- Liza, uh, I'm sorry for calling you so early. It's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. Can I explain really quickly why we're calling you? It's really f***ing early. Yeah, yes, it is. And Ooh, and, and th- there's a reason that we're calling you this early. That's because we got your phone number from a gentleman who wanted us to reach out to you. Because he actually wants to take you out on a date because he thinks you're a very pleasant girl. It's a guy that I know? It's a guy that you know, yes. And... I'm going to tell you his name. If you agree to go on a date with him, then we will pay for whatever date you want to go. So you name the place, the day, the time, all that stuff, and we'll set it up, and you and him eat and drink for free. So when you say it's a guy that I know, is it someone that I dated? Is it from work? Is it someone, the guy from the mall? Is it the guy from the mall? Um, the I don't know. Maybe it, actually, mall. no. Okay, I'll give you that. It, it is someone <laughs> that, that you It is someone that you dated, actually. His name is Neri. Oh, no. I lost that with this dumbass. Thank you, though. Okay, no, hey, no problem. You don't have to do the date. Can, can I just ask you, though, really quickly, since we have you on the phone? Because we need to know. Yeah, so he is very confused because, you know, he said that you guys were hanging out for a couple of months and that he was even in, like, with your family and stuff like that. So he, he's very... Really? Um, am I, why, am I wrong? Does your family hate him or, or did your family hate him or... So he thought it was okay to almost kill my grandmother? Dumb motherfucker. He thought it was okay to almost kill your grandmother, you said? Yes. My grandmother is super old. She's, like, in her 80s. Yeah. She's in a wheelchair, and she's on oxygen. Okay, yeah. Okay, he didn't mention that, but he said that she looks like the grandmother from Coco. Is that true? (laughs) Yes, that's true. Okay. And how did he almost kill her? (laughs) So, a few days ago, I found a pack of cigarettes in the house, Mm -hmm. and I was about to go off with my dad, who used to smoke, and he quit. So I thought he was smoking again and hiding it from us. So Mm -hmm. when I told my grandmother, my grandmother was like, no, those are mine. And I got super, super livid because that's dangerous for her for a million reasons. Mm -hmm. Like, number one, she's super old. Number two, she's on oxygen, so it's obviously not good for her breathing. Oh, no. And then number three, like, it could have caused an explosion because of the oxygen tank. So when I asked her where she got it from... Because she never leaves the house. She said that that guy bought him for her. She said Neri bought him for her? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. hold on a second. Uh, okay, but I don't even want to defend this. Uh, right. Neri, I'm sorry. Neri's on the phone, Liza. Hey, Neri. Had no idea. Are you an idiot? Neri. <laughs> no. Yo, what? Like, grandma, she said it was cool. Your grandma like, said it was fine. Like, are you that f- stupid? There's a sign on the tank. 
No, I, I'm sorry. No, I didn't read the tank. I don't read everything. No, I think you're making it sound worse than it is. There's no way. I'm blow. making you killing my grandmother and blowing up my parents' house mm. sound worse than it really is. Hold on. Can I ask yes. you a question? Can no- I, Neri, can I ask you a question? What? You didn't think that giving a, an old woman... And an, with an, with an oxygen, oxygen tank, tank. <laughs> cigarettes might have possibly been not the right thing to do. No, look, she she asked me for a cigarette, so I gave it to her, and she like she likes it so sweet. I respect my elders, so she asked me to buy her a pack, oh. and I'm like, you know, I grow. I was raised to like respect my elders, so <laughs> like, oh okay, I did that for oh. her. She's so sweet. You respecting your elders is f-ing idiotic. My dad is pissed, my mom is pissed, and my grandmother is mad at me because I ratted her out. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All right. So, okay, so now I know. So I'm sorry. So when you're, now, you you're know, now you won't buy cigarettes anymore? <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, my God. When, you're like, Coco Grandma asks me for a favor, I should just tell her to f*** off. What? Oh, yes. You have my permission to say no to my grandmother. When she asks you for something that could possibly blow up the entire <laughs> house. Okay. I'm sorry. Now I know. Jesus. Now you know. I can't okay. believe he had to be told that. Oh, Ugh. God. I think, honestly, though, I think, in my opinion, you should let her enjoy her last few days. Oh, my She's God. Not dumb, you dumb f- <laughs> Hold wow. on. You don't have to contribute to it. <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> I understand what he means by that, but you might be you might be getting, giving everybody in the house and in the vicinity of that house their last few days if you keep giving grandma a cigarette with an oxygen tank. I mean, I didn't know that part. Okay, well, now, okay, well, now you know. Okay, so listen, Liza. Now he knows. He said he won't do it again. Would you be down to give him another date? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, f- it. I didn't know that being like a nice guy to a like nice old lady was gonna f- our relationship. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, and 810. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. Want to know how?